Last week we had a large aspen tree fail, tipped over. Luckily it missed the house. But uh, I just want to discuss a couple of things that I've noticed. Now that we're trying to remove the stump, we can kind of identify a couple of problems that occurred on this tree that caused the tree failure. So two things. One, we have what are called girdling roots. When this tree was just a sapling, it was in a pot like this. And the tree roots would grow out to the edge of the pot and then circle around the pot. And then when the tree was planted, there was plenty of room between those circling roots and the center of the tree, so it was kind of a non-issue. But as the tree's trunk diameter reached about the size of that pot, those girdling roots were also increasing in size, and that ring of roots around the big trunk started to pinch off the tree causing it to become weak. So you can see here that there's a bulge right here. The girdling roots were here. The tree was trying to expand but those roots were preventing it from from continuing to grow. Um, and here's this is where the roots are. There's a gap here where the tree tipped and and this is where those roots were pinching off the tree. Also you can see this discoloration in the bark. I just pulled this bark off of here. Um, maybe this helps to see the bulge too where the girdling roots were pinching off. But as I as I started digging I noticed that this bark was just kind of slipping off real easy and as I pulled it off it's got all this black spotting and it's, it's slimy and and what that means is that this tree was planted too deep. The soil was up on the bark tissue. That bark tissue is not designed to be buried. It's designed to breathe and be above ground. The actual, even though you see roots here, there are no roots coming off the tree at the soil level. All the roots are down a foot. You can see here where some of these roots, where the where the the root flare is starting a good foot below the surface of the soil, and so between the girdling roots and the tree being planted too deep, it, it allowed the tree to grow to about 12, 13, 14 inch diameter, but it, at some point, if you don't plant your trees correctly. They might be fine for 20 years, but eventually they will fail just like this one did. So I hope that was educational. If you have any questions, please comment below. Let me know if there's anything we can do to help you. And uh, have a good day.